Hi, everybody. This is Virginia Milner coming to you for the DeKalb County Library System. And Mother's Day is right around the corner. So I thought we would make a series of earrings that would be easy to make in minutes so that you can decide what you think your mom might like. We're going to make some really pretty ear wires, just some decorative, um, not ear wires, but um, head pins that you can use to just decorate any bead. Any bead you put on there, it's going to look really cute. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some decorative head pins. We're going to do some, um, I think I'm going to do an all-in-one earring head pin with a bead, just playing around and having a good time doing it. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you only need your usual tools, your round nose pliers, square or flat nose pliers, well, square nose or chain nose pliers, cutters, and a ruler for measuring. You're gonna need some 20 gauge wire and some 24 gauge wire and a selection of beads. That's it, let's get going. Let's see how many of these babies we can crank out today. All right, so. Here is the first one I thought we would do. We would just make a nice little head pin. Do I have a sample here? A nice little head pin. Yeah, I put something on my samples, didn't I? Well, I'll show you what it looks like without a bead, but we're just gonna make a little infinity rib, uh, wire infinity ribbon at the bottom and um, put a bead on it. Easy as pie. And this is one of the really great times that you can use up extra little strips of wire that you have because earrings don't take much wire. So it's really nice to have that. I'm going to turn this light off. I have to turn it on when I'm on camera because otherwise it washes me out. But uh, if I turn it on here, then it washes out the silver. So I'm going to use, take some 20 gauge wire. All you need for this particular not that one, this particular um, head pin, which is our infinity head pin, is about um, one, two, about two inches of wire to make the loops, but then you have to decide how long a bead you're gonna put on there. So how big a bead. So I'm gonna give myself three inches of wire. I know that's too much for the little bead that I'm putting on, but that's okay. Stick with three inches, cut off what you don't need, and you will be safe. I'd rather err on the side of too much. And once you get used to doing it and know how much you actually need, then you can cut it down. But right now I'm starting with three inches. I'm gonna slide my wire down about a quarter of the way down my pliers, not too far, maybe a fifth of the way down until I have a small, uh, nah, actually for this one, it's even smaller. I'm just gonna go just past the tip of my uh, pliers with my wire. This looks awfully shadowy, doesn't it? A little closer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add a little more light because yeah, I'm getting shadow. Just Okay. All right, so I'm going to go down just past the tip of my pliers, and I'm going to make a loop. So I'm just going to rotate. I, I want to make sure nothing's sticking out the back because I want it to be nice and round with slight, maybe a slight teardrop, but mostly round. So I'm going to grab the little tip, rotate my pliers until I have a loop. Okay, and then I'm gonna go right beside that loop. Same spot on my pliers. So I, I slide my, um, my little loop on my pliers just to see where I need to go for the second loop. A little hack, you've got a little hack of an idea. So I'm right under the first loop. Make another loop right beside it. And there's my little infinity sign. 
Yay. Kind of flatten it out just a little bit. I like mine to be a little kind of 3D-ish. I like it to pop. All I had to do is straighten my wire out. Put my bead on. Use my little red teardrop line. You can use pretty much any bead that you want, large, small, in between. See how much wire? I, I did not need that much wire. I used three um, inches of wire, and it looks like I only really needed about an inch and a half. But that's okay. So now I'm going to make the loop with the top. I'm going to bend my wire back. See how the my um, infinity symbol is going right and left? I'm going to bend my wire back right and left, too. Just like that. Then I'm going to clip off the end because I only need about half an inch to make the loop that's going to go through my ear wire. Clip off the rest of that. Look at that. I have a whole inch and a half left. So I only needed an inch and a half of wire to make my head pin. Now you know. And let's make a small loop, just big enough. It doesn't have to be huge, just big enough to fit through my ear wire. Okay, got my loop. Let's close it up nice and tight. Let's bend it back so it's nicely centered over my bead. Yeah. And we're all ready for our ear wire. There is my little head pin. My little decorative head pin with my bead on it. Isn't that pretty? Now, I'm going to show you how to make an ear wire. For that, You just need about two inches of wire. Just gonna make a very simple French wire. Two inches. Snip that off. Make a small loop. I'm gonna go just past the tip, maybe a quarter of an inch. Rotate until I have a loop. Like so. Then I'm going to grab an ink pen because so I'm going to use that to make the um, the part that goes in my ear. So I'm going to grab an ink pen, put it behind the loop, just a just a little bit above the loop. This ink pen is very slippery, so it's fighting me. It's going, no, I don't want to do this. I just want to be writ written with. Okay, so wrap the wire around my ink pen. Slide the ink pen off. And then now I'm going to create a little curve in my wire. Adjust it a little bit. Flip off what I don't need at the bottom here because it only needs to be about that long. Depends on how long you want it to be. Flip that off. I'm going to match it up with this one. Since I've already made one, I want to want them to be as close as possible to the same. 
Ooh, this one's a little longer. So before I clip, and I'll roll that back a little bit because I made that one a little bit longer in the ear part. Just a little bit more. It's easier to do ear wires at the same time, and you don't have to worry about things not matching. If you make them both at the same time, you're all set. You can do them exactly the same. I have to make adjustments. Which is okay, but it would have been easier if I'd made them at the same time. But I didn't. So adjustments must be made. This is as close as I'm going to get. All right, let's see here. That's close, close enough, close enough. Okay, make my little curve. Clip off the end because it doesn't need to be this long. Yep. A little bit off the tail. Grab my um, pliers either round or square, either one works. And just put a little ledge on the end, just like that. And there's my ear wire. There, there's my ear wire. Open it up, slide my bead on, close it, and I have a pair of earrings. Well, I have an earring. And then once you make your second one, you'll have a pair of earrings. There. They are. Aren't those cute? And they're not huge, not big. I mean, you can make them bigger, use a bigger bead, but the whole point of this is to make a really cute head pin. And there it is. Let's go on to the second one. The second one I'm going to do, we're going to make an um, Irish tree foil design at the bottom. Yeah, and then we're going to put a pretty, I'm putting a pretty moonstone on it. Okay, so again, I'm going to cut three inches of wire. This one gets a little bit closer to the three inches than the other one did. So I'm going to give myself another three inches of wire. There we go. Put that off. Grab my 
pliers and I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other one. I'm going to make a little loop. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger because the bead that I'm using is bigger. So I'm going to, again, make sure there's nothing sticking out the back. I'm going to slide it down to the place that I want it on my pliers. And it depends on what size loop you want. Again, I'm going to rotate until I have a loop. And notice that I'm going in small increments. I'm not trying to make that loop in one cell turn. It's a mistake I see people making a lot. Okay, let's close that up. Okay, and let's do the second loop. There we go, there we go. Just under the first loop. Strap my pliers. I take it out and go this way, it's easier. Just wrap it around. So I have my second loop. There we go. And I'm going to bring it over to the side here, just under this loop that I just made. And I'm going to take my pliers out. I'm going to slide them back in that loop and over the tail. And I'm going to wrap that tail around the pliers. part of the way until I have part of a circle. And then I'm gonna slide those pliers out and be very careful. You don't wanna um, mess up your first two loops. Slide it back in the part partial loops that I made and continue with my third loop. So there's my third loop, and now I need to bend my wire straight. So I'm going to grab the wire just at the bottom here, right where it's meeting the other two loops. I'm going to bend it straight down. A little bit of adjustment so that it's right in between the two loops here. And there's my tree foil. Just a little bit. And again, I like mine to look a little 3D-ish, kind of popping a little bit. Pop my bead on. Another one. Stop my bead on there. And there we have it. Let's make my loop to go over the ear wire. Slide it back to the side here. Flip it down to half an inch. Only needed two inches because that's a good inch of wire that I did not have to use. Okay, slide my wire down about a quarter of an inch down my pliers. Oops, and make my loop. Small increments, just rotate until I have a nice loop. And make another make another ear wire. I already have one made, so I'm gonna put it on. 
open up my ear wire. Light on my bead, close it up. Where am I? Oh, okay, there. Okay. And there we go. Another cute pair of earrings. Come oh, on. Cooperate. Not in the you know, all right, side by side. Anyway, <laughs> I I have the hardest time figuring out how to display earrings. I bought one of those um, silicone ears and it freaked people out. They said that thing looks weird. I said, okay, never mind. Anyway, there are my earrings. Cute. Earring number two. Now, the third thing I wanted to show you was just something that I, I don't know why I thought it up, was just um, making your ear wire and attaching it to my head pin and putting a bead on. And you can do that if you wanted just a small earring um, that doesn't dangle too much. And then you can add a dangle to it on the bottom. So you would basically just be making uh, what we did with the infinity. And then you would make the trefoil and then you would just extend the head pin. So let me go ahead and show you how to do at least the top part, the bottom part we already did. So let's go ahead and make our tree foil. This is pretty small, so let's stick with that. Yeah. And I'm going to go down about a quarter of an inch, make a loop. Again, small increments with my turns. Just keep turning until it hits the stem back there. And then go under, yes, because right there. Just go under my loop, make another loop. Until I have my little infinity symbol. There we go. And then let's go ahead and make the tree foil the third loop. Bring it over to the side. Pop my pliers inside that second loop and start my third loop and take my pliers off before I get too far. Slide them back in that third loop and continue. Where's the back? Oops, this one. And continue my loop all the way around. Here we go. Then I'm going to bend my wire down. Make sure everything's nice and neat and tidy. Manipulate this a little bit. Okay. Very good. All right, I'm going to put my bead on. In this case, I have a nice, vibrant pink crackle bead. Okay, and there it is. And now I'm going to go ahead and make my ear wire to connect uh, my head pin and my ear wire all in one. And the way I'm going to do that is to bend my wire back. My, um, my pattern is going right to left and I'm gonna bend my wire back front to back to front and front to back. So I'm gonna bend that like so. I'm gonna clip it off because I don't need this much. I only need about another inch and a quarter. And I'm just gonna 
eyeball it. So I'm going to cut that off. Grab my ink pen. I'm going to, yeah, have to grab my ink pen. Just slide it down right to where the bend is. There's the bend in my wire. Put my ink pen just above it and wrap the wire around the ink pen. Make my little curve just like this. Okay, grab my pliers and make that little tip on the end. It'll be a little curvier. Just make that little tip. Boop. And there we have it. Neat, huh? Isn't that cute? It's so cute. And then if you want a little extra length, there, there's your earring. It's all one piece. I just love it. And then if you want just a little extra boost, you can add a little dangle to the bottom if you want to, which is what I did here. Or you can leave it just like this. Either way, adorable. So we've done what to... One, two, three pairs of earrings. Let's go for four. Yay. So we're going to do a fourth pair of earrings. It's going to be a little more traditional, except that we're going to, we're going to wrap it. I'm just going to wrap it around the side. So I'm going to grab three beads. And for this, our head pin is just going to be part of the beads. We're going to use 24 gauge wire. I'm going to get myself five inches and again it depends on the size of your beads I'm using two six millimeter beads oh I didn't even explain that this is a really pretty um a bead that I have here I think it's Zoe's 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 little cheat sheet it tells me what I used it's Zoe's I Isn't that pretty? And it, it's just uh, the perfect color to go with this crackle bee because I said, I don't want all pink. Uh, anyway, make the other one, put the other one on there. So for this one, I'm using two six millimeters um, speckled beads and these are glass. They're not, they're not a stone like that is. And this is um, a baby blue tiger eye. Can you see that? That is so pretty. Let's see what we get. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's so ethereal. And it just went across the room. Let me get another one. Ah, there's more where that came from. And I'll just crawl around and find that one later. Come out, come out, wherever you are. All right. Is that the same? No, that's the small one. Oh, ouch. There we go. All right. So I'm going to use two six millimeter speckle beads and one eight millimeter, is this eight? Yeah, one eight millimeter tiger eye. And I'm going to get five inches of 24 gauge wire. Snip that off. I'm going to make a loop at the top. I'm going to bend my wire back about an inch. 
slide my wire down about a quarter of an inch from the tip of my pliers. Doesn't need to be a huge loop, just enough to go through my ear wire. I mean, through my, yeah, through my ear wire. Okay, I'm gonna wrap the tail of my, the short tail of my wire around my pliers until I can't go any further, open my pliers, rotate back, and bring the rest of my wire around until I have a nice little loop. Okay, I'm gonna grab my flat press. Now, you know what, you can wrap this while this is just like that. I just prefer to do it the other way. That's just my preference. But you can easily wrap this around while the wires in the pliers. Okay, and I only need about a one and a half times around. So I can go ahead and clip that off. And I like to make sure that it ends right under, uh, right in the middle of my loop. So I cut it off just a little bit beyond the side. Get that off, get rid of that little tail and push down the end with my pliers. Now I'm gonna grab my beads in whatever order you wanna put them on. I'm gonna put small, large, and small. Okay, so there are my beads. I'm gonna leave about uh, just a millimeter at the top, just enough at the top so that I have space to wrap um, around my beads because I'm doing a little tiny bit of wrapping in between. So making sure I have a little bit of space at the top, I'm gonna to bend my wire around the bottom bead. And then I'm gonna bring it up the bead like so. And there's my first little wrap around the side. I'm gonna wrap it in between the small bead and the large and the middle bead. And I'm gonna wrap around that middle bead like so. And in between the middle bead and the large bead, I wanna hold on to it so it doesn't shift. And then around the top bead. Like so. Hold on to it so it doesn't shift. Wrap it around the top, and I like a little bit of a cap. So I'm going to keep wrapping until I have a little cap like this on top of my bead. So I'm wrapping down toward the bead and around and building on the outside of my wire. So I'm wrapping the wire around itself until I have a little cap. Get rid of that little space that I see there. And wrap until I have the cap the size that I want it. And then clip off the tail. And push down that end of wire as close to the other wraps as I can get. And there it is. You just adjust the wires until they look the way I want them to look. Oops. There we have it. Earring number four. Let's grab my wire and make, look at that. I had about a foot and a half. I think I had 18 inches of wire. Did all of these earrings with the exception of the one that I did in gold out of that. And I still have, 
Um, by the time I finish and make this ear wire, I'm still gonna have eight inches left. So all of those earrings, again, with the exception of the gold one, three pairs of earrings with the ear wires took 10 inches of wire. I love it. Two, I need two inches. There we go. Love earrings. I understand why people make earrings a lot to sell because first of all, they're fast to make, they're easy to make, and uh, the price point is lovely. Okay, everybody wins. You don't have to pay much for them. They don't have to pay much to make them. Okay, so. You know, there, yeah. Slide my pliers down about a quarter of an inch away from the tip. Make my lid. Nope, overextended there. A little too overzealous. There we go. Let's close it. I have my ink pen. This, this ink pen really just does not want to cooperate. I need one of those that is a little less slippery, but this is going to have to do because it's what I've been using all along. Once I get it started, it's okay. Okay, wrap it around. Make sure everything's nice and flat here. Make my little curvy curve. Rip off the tip, and look at that. I still have to clip some off. It takes about an inch and three quarters to make these little wires. Let's see what the length is on this one so that they can be the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, very good. Very nice. That tail off, hold on. Don't go flying, thank you very much. Turn up that tip. Good. Good. Open the ear wire up. You know, it's going that way. This one goes this way. Yeah. Slide on my earring. Now remember, you want to make sure that your earrings are mirror image so that when you put them on, they are opposite each other since they're on opposite ears. Okay. Close up the loop. And there are, there is my other pair of earrings. Earrings number four. We, oh my gosh, you can make your mom so, so very happy. Aren't those great? Four pairs. Four pairs of earrings. One, two. Now this one could, could be this one without a dangle on it. Can't see the little this little guy because it's back there where it's supposed to be. Two, three. Oops, 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 oops.
and four. Where's my three? Yes. Four pairs of earrings in a matter of minutes. I just love that. Here they are. So this is actually one, two, three, four, five pairs of earrings because we did this one without the dangle. And we can add a dangle to make it a fifth pair. Five pairs of earrings, ladies and gents. Five pairs, five pairs. I, I am so thrilled that we got through this. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. And nice. Loving it. Loving it. That's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We, this was a bit, this is a marathon. We just did a marathon um, video. And I am very proud to say, lovely job. Ooh. I can wear these today because they match my shirt. But one thing that you always want to remember when you are making your own ear wires is that you need to file them, um, kind of round out the end, ends. And all you need is an emery board or a nail file. You can use um, a rounder if you want, but if, if, if you want to buy one, but you don't need one. You can take an emery board or a nail file and you can round out that little edge so that it's not sharp because you want to stick that in your ear and you don't want it to be sharp. So just round it out like you do your fingernails. Just round out the edge. These are going on me because that, it's perfect. It's a perfect match for the shirt I have on. It doesn't have that blue in it, but it's close enough. I love these. One pair, two pairs, with the, you know, with the all inclusive, three pairs with the dangle, four pairs with my little infinity, and what was the fifth? Oh, five pairs. With the tree foil. Oh. Happy Mother's Day. Enjoy. Have fun. Make bunches and bunches. You can make them with um, birthstones. You can make, oh yeah, you can make them with birthstones. You can make birthstones of everybody in your family and, and just line them up on your head pin. Because again, you can make this head pin as long or as short as you want it. Where Where's another one? Yeah, you can make the head pin as long or as short as you want it, and you can just stack beads on it. I, I mean, it, you, it's there are endless possibilities uh, with this. I thought I had another one out there that was longer. I know. Um, and just have fun with it. Why do you? You don't have to use boring head pins. Use pretty head pins. As a matter of fact, you can make the head, head pin the star and just put a teeny tiny little bead on it just enough to make it an earring. That's it. That's our um, tutorial for the day. I hope you liked it. I hope you loved it. And I hope that you'll make at least one pair of these earrings and show me what you made because I wanna see, please do. And please always remember that these tutorials are free to you from the DeKalb County Library System. The De DeKalb County Library Foundation is the one that's bringing them to you, bringing me to you so that we can share um, some artistic um, 
fun for you to have, something that's artistic and a learning experience that you can use to do something good for yourself or for somebody that you might want to give a gift to, like your mom. So anyway, if you want to get in contact with me, my email is jewelrygen20 at gmail.com. That's J-E-W-E-L-R-Y-G-I-N-2-0 at gmail.com. You can also comment, uh, go to the library Facebook page to look up these videos. And um, it's it's um, facebook.com slash decab library. That's facebook.com slash D-E-K-A-L-B L-I-B-R-A-R-Y. I had to think about it for a second. Go into the into the Facebook page, search engine, put in jewelry with Jen. All of the videos that we've done for the last three years will pop up. All of them. And if for some reason you don't want to wade through all of those weekly videos and you have one in particular that you can't find and you really want to make. Just drop me an email at jewelrygen20 at gmail.com. Give me a description of it and I'll try to find it and I will send you the link because these are all free all the time and they are not going away. So please, please, please feel free to contact me or us either way in regard to these um, tutorials because we would love to get your feedback. We'd also love to see your creations. So until next time, enjoy the rest of your week or your week and your weekend, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.